This brief video will cover the steps in preparing, cutting, and splicing Dura Joint Water Stop, demonstrating how to create a three way T and four way X or cross splices. It's important to note that this procedure requires the use of a power saw and splicing iron. In turn, DuraJoint highly recommends heat resistant work gloves and eye protection to avoid injury. Begin the splicing process by warming the splicing iron while the water stop lengths are being cut. The first step is to count the number of spliced intersections needed and multiplying that number by three for T's or four for X or cross to determine the total number of pre-cut lengths required. Next, cut all the water stop lengths at a 45 degree angle where the splices will be made. Be sure to add an extra inch, allowing for melting. Turning the lengths over, cut the prepared 45 degree cuts in half to create points. It is important to remember that for T splices, one of the three 45 degree cut lengths should remain intact and not cut to a point. The resulting piece should look like this, with the point in the center and matching sides. With the pieces cut, the next step is to splice them together into a three-piece T or four-piece cross formation. Simultaneously position the two 45 degree edges of the DuraJoint water stop against the splicing iron being careful to ensure both edges are in complete contact with the iron. This will uniformly melt the edges that will be joined. Depending upon the iron temperature and ambient conditions, this may take 90 seconds or more. Note that constant pressure on the two opposing pieces will help speed the melting process. When a soft bead of melted material appears along the top edge of both pieces, they should be quickly removed from the iron. The iron dropped and the edges carefully joined to complete the splice. After about 30 to 45 seconds, the seam should be cured and cooled to where it is still soft but no longer molten. At this point, briefly touch the bead along the splice to ensure a sufficient cure. Set the spliced composite aside to allow total curing and proceed with the next joint in the same manner. Depending upon whether three or four piece splices are being prepared, the remaining splices can be constructed. For a three-piece T-joint, a single length of water stop with a 45-degree edge and no center point will be spliced to a previously prepared splice containing two points and one common 45-degree edge. For a four-piece joint, two previously prepared spliced units are melted and joined in the same manner. The final step is to spark test all splices to ensure there are no voids in the finished seam through which water could pass. In this test, an electric spark tester is used to emit a constant sparking arc with the water stop joint positioned over a piece of steel angle iron. As demonstrated here, the spark seam can be seen before it is positioned above the water stop splice. But as the spark tester moves along the prepared splice, no sparks are visible. This indicates no voids for the spark to pass through to the steel. Then, as the tester completes the pass and again comes in contact with the steel, sparks can again be seen. Here, we see a properly formed splice with no water permeable voids. Any joints that exhibit a spark and therefore a void should be discarded as a proper and complete repair is unlikely. Decades of experience have shown when properly executed, this method of cutting, splicing, and testing DuraJoint water stop will result in impermeable seams through which water will not pass. DuraJoint can complete your splicing projects by manufacturing per the drawing specifications in our plant. We also offer on-site training, certifying that your staff has learned how to properly splice water stop. For further information, visit DuraJoint.com or call us today.